All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to my series on how to solve the Rubik's Cube. If you made it this far, great job. Um, your cube should look something like this. It should have these castle walls built up. We're going to call these castle walls now because uh, we have our six here, and then we have our two towers where the archers fire from, I guess. I don't know what they did in castles. And the same thing over here. All of our corners should be yellow. Um, and the only thing that should be left is these six edges. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have all eight corners done, and we have six of our edges done. One, two, three, four, five, six done. So this step is called L6E, which means last six edges. Um, the first thing we need to do is we need to check the center on the top. This center needs to be either yellow or white. It should not be orange, and it should not be red, and if for some reason it's blue or green, then you've done something horribly wrong early on. So if you see orange or yellow here, you need to just move the middle either direction. It can be white or it can be yellow. Either way is fine. So we'll do white. Now we need to count our bad edges, and the way we know how many bad edges there are is uh, anything that's not yellow or white here and anything that's not yellow or white here. So if I count, I see one, two, three, four bad edges. The amount of bad edges is always going to be zero, two, four, or six. It's always going to be an even number. If you have an odd number, then something's wrong with your cube, like somebody took it apart and put it back together wrong. Uh, if that happened, then you're probably going to need to take it all apart and start over again, put it back together correctly, then re-scramble it. Um, but first, before you do all that, make sure that everything else is solved. So here's the thing. Uh, when we were solving the corners, you remember soon was the final step before everything was solved. It was like the second to last step. Once we had soon, we knew that we just had to apply the soon algorithm and all the corners would be done. The, the case that's like this for the edges is called the arrow, which means you have one, two, three bad corner, bad edges on top, and you have one bad edge on the bottom. If you ever have three on the top, one on the bottom, you know you're very close to finishing fixing the edges. When you have one, two, three, what you need to do is point those edges, point the arrow towards the bad edge on the bottom. So here's the bad edge on the bottom. And when, when you have the edge on the bottom, you need to pull that edge up through, turn it, and then turn it back down. And then all now you see all of my colors are either yellow or white here, and yellow or white here. So let me show you the arrow again, and I want to show you something that's really important. Let's say my arrow is pointing this way, and my bad edge is right here. So I need my arrow pointing towards my bad edge. I always have to spin the top. Never spin the bottom to try to get your bad edges. Because look what I just did. I just messed up all that hard work we did. So remember, the only moves that are allowed right now are U and M. So if I see my arrows this way and it needs to be this way, I just need to spin the top twice. And now my arrow is pointing towards the bad edge. Bring the bad edge up, turn the top, and move the middle that way. It doesn't matter. So here I'm going to show you one where the arrow is pointing at this bad edge. You can tell really quickly if this edge is bad or not, because it's going to be yellow or white looking at you. If it's not yellow or white, then this edge is good. So like if I look at the back here, this is not yellow or white, that means that this edge is good. Anyway, we need to push this through and turn it. Um, every single thing we do during this will lead to the arrow and then finish. You, there's no way to skip the arrow. It has to go through the arrow. So for example, let me grab a case here. All right, look at this. So this one is one bad edge here. That means there must be a one bad edge on the bottom because there has to be at least two bad edges. Um, well, I mean, there has to be an even number of bad edges. So I look here, here's a bad one. I look here, I know this one's not bad. So by deduction, this is the only edge that's left. So this one must be bad. And I look down and sure enough, that one's bad. If you have one bad on top, one bad on the bottom, I want you to put them opposite of each other. And then you're going to take this bad one from the bottom and bring it here, which is going to move this one down here. So now once you do that, once you have that here, you're going to twist the top one time in either direction. And then you're going to bring the middle back through the opposite way of whatever you just did. And do you see what we got? What is that? One, two, three. We got the arrow. 
Uh, always make sure when you have the arrow that the center is either yellow or white. If it's not, something's gone horribly wrong. So we have bad edge here, one, two, three bad edges. Pull through, turn, and that's done. Next. Okay, now we have one, two, three, four bad edges on the top. If I have four bad edges on the top, it means I either have four bad edges, and these are the only ones, or I have six bad edges, which means these two are also bad. I look one, two, three, four, so I check the bottom. No bad edges on the bottom. If I have one, two, three, four, I'm gonna turn this, and I'm gonna twist it again, and then I'm gonna twist this, and look what that left us with. One bad edge, one bad edge, we just did this. So I put my bad edge opposite of this bad edge, push through, turn, pull back through the opposite way, and now I have my arrow. Boom, boom, boom. Notice you can just play around with this as much as you want. It doesn't really matter because you're not going to mess anything up. As long as you're doing M's and U's, you're fine. And then it's going to eventually, if you play with it enough, you'll get to the arrow. And once you know how to fix the arrow, you'll be able to do this. This is not a hard step compared to the other steps. I think this is one of the easier ones. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. All six edges are bad. Oh my God. And what I'm gonna do to fix that is I'm gonna turn this up like this, and I'm gonna twist the top, and I'm gonna turn this up again. And look what that left us with. One bad edge on the top, one bad edge on the bottom. So I need them to be opposite each other. So this one's here, this one's here. Push up, turn, Pull back the opposite way, leaves us with the arrow, and look at that, we are done with that. We have all white or yellow, and all white or yellow, beautiful. What's the next one I got set up? Okay, this one, let me hold it the right way. Two bad edges on the top, and they're like this uh, L formation, or whatever you want to call it. If I have this, what I'm going to do is point this away from me, push through, Turn the top again, and then I'm going to pull it back the opposite way. And what did that leave us with? I see an arrow. Now I check for my bad edge on the bottom. It's this one. Point my arrow towards the bad edge. Push up, push up. And we are all done. All of this is white or yellow, and all of this is white or yellow. Next one. What do we got? Two bad edges here. If we have two bad edges here, we're going to keep this pointed this way. We're going to push turn, pull back through. And what did that leave us with? We got our arrow, baby. We finish our arrow off the way that we've been doing with every single one of these cases. And look at that. Oh my God, that one's pretty close to done. Boom. All right, now this is one to be careful of. I look at this and I go, oh my God, I'm all done already. I don't have to do anything. But I look at the bottom, two bad edges on the bottom. Remember, uh, if you have an even number on the top, then it's possible, always possible, you could have two bad edges here. If you have an odd number on the top, then you must have one bad edge here because of math, you know, crazy math. So if I have two bad edges down here, I'm going to turn these both up, and now it's just like the last thing we did where we had these two. So I do up, push back, we got the arrow, and we're done. All right. So there's a couple more cases, um, but if you play with it, you're gonna run into one for sure that I that I already showed you. If you just do enough M's and U's, you'll eventually, up. Oh, I just stumbled on an arrow. I didn't even mean to, and once I have the arrow, it's pretty easy to solve. This step is not terribly hard. Just remember our restricted moves, which I will keep bugging you about as much as possible so that you know we're not turning the bottom. We're not turning the right, we're not turning the left. We're only turning the middle and the top. All right, I'll see you in the next video.